Hello everyone, I am D Slice. And I'm James. And I'm everyone standing. hiccups, unfortunately. Or hick downs. But did you ever realize that no scientists know for sure what happens and there are only theories backing the phenomenon up? <laughs> I have some goldus. Huh, yeah, that's the same thing. What? But what are they? What are hiccups? Hiccups are a process of breathing in rapidly and spontaneously. You take in a big gulp of air that way. It's also a spasm contracting the diaphragm. The hiccup noise is created by the sudden closure of the vocal cords following the spasm 35 milliseconds afterwards. Most simple cases of hiccups are caused by eating or drinking too much or too quickly. That will just in the stomach, which is located right below the diaphragm, and irritate it. That actually looks like a kidney. Hiccups are also known to occur in almost all mammals. But why do mammals need them? Shouldn't they have self-control when it comes to eating, since they rely on instincts? Well, there is a theory that it's actually an evolutionary leftover for us. And here's the way humans walk comes to play. We stand upright and when we eat, food slides right down to the stomach and such. But other animals who walk on all fours don't have that and food would get stuck in their throats. The spasm pushes the food right in. And that's why they have them. But hey, it's just a theory. Ultrasounds have shown hiccups and fetuses. Yikes. Sometimes hiccups can be caused by a disruption in the nerve pathways from the brain to the muscles of the diaphragm, which explains why hiccups can occur with temperature changes, emotional moments, and actually... A sudden shock can cause the hiccups as well as sometimes prevent them, and the longest of persons are documented to hiccup was from 1922 to 1990. For a full 68 years, the tale goes of a man named Charles Osborne who picked up a pig once and started to have hiccups and then didn't stop. And considering the average frequency of hiccups is 4 to 60 times per minute, you can tell this guy didn't have the best time. He turned out fine, living a full life. But hiccups are not as harmless as Charles' case would make them seem. Chronic hiccups that last for more than 48 hours can signal a lethal disease. It can be a sign of malaria, ulcers, pneumonia, liver cancer, kidney failure, lung tumor, digestion problems, hepatitis, and the vagus for nerves, heart attack, or other threatening diseases. Well... I guess that's bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.